Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how I graduated high school with a 4.0 plus college GPA. So if you want to find out how I did it, keep watching this video and let's get straight into the video. seventh point that I have is using external resources. Now people do overlook this as well. When you are struggling with something, sometimes, um, sometimes I would definitely say that your teacher does not help at all. Like there's times where I was struggling in certain subjects and I asked my teacher for help and then they said, do you understand? I said, yep, yeah, I do. I understand. Knowing in my head, I'm just going to look this up on the internet after to find out how to do it because I don't even understand a word you just said. So I'll definitely say using external resources. Some great external resources are obviously YouTube. If you're struggling with a subject, just look up exactly what you're struggling with or look up the subject on YouTube. So that is definitely a great um, external resource to use when you're struggling. The second thing I will say is at least for math, they have the they have websites like Math is Fun that will explain things to you in a, I mean, I don't want to say kid way, but they explain it in a kid way. So like for a child to be able to understand like difficult topics, so they explain it in, I guess you could say like more elementary version way for you to understand it. So I'll definitely say that is one website. I'll definitely say those are the main two websites that I use whenever I struggle with anything because YouTube, you can find any subjects. If you're struggling with subjects, I'll definitely try to go to YouTube or if not YouTube, there should be, if you do look up just on Google and Google search web, oh, how, like, let's say, for example, slope, how to do slope, there should be websites that come up with it. If you don't want a video, if you want step-by-step -step instructions, um, a video will help with that. But if you don't want a video, they actually have some websites where they just show like pictures step-by-step. -step. If you learn better with having like diagrams or pictures and stuff, so they do have websites to do that. I just don't really know the name of them, but I do know that they have. Those are the two most common websites that I used whenever I struggled with school. The eighth point that I have is asking for help when it's needed. So when I mean asking for help, I mean, it doesn't have to be a teacher. You can even ask another student. You you can ask parents, even your siblings, whoever. So asking for help when needed. So the ninth point that I will say is definitely not giving up. When, when things get tough, you know, don't give up. You know, you might be struggling with, like we're gonna use, I'm gonna use the same example for this whole video, but you might be struggling with how to do slow. Okay, like I said, external resource, find out how to do it. So that way you can learn how to do it. You don't struggle anymore. Ask a friend, maybe if you use textbooks, I didn't really have textbooks because I grew up in, when I grew up, technology was really popping, it was booming, so I really did not use textbooks like that. But if you have textbooks, use your textbooks in school to help you understand if you're struggling with something. And you know, all this ties back to ask for help when needed, use your external resources. So don't just stay in your battle or don't just stay struggling, like try to make your way out of it. It's not going to be hard all the time. There will be times like, there will be times that you don't understand things, but try not to get frustrated because you will at one point understand it. You just have to try to get extra things. You know, other people may understand things faster or easier than you and other people may understand it a lot longer. It may take them a lot longer to understand things and it might be a lot harder for them to understand things compared to you. But one of the things I will say, this is not a main point, but I will say don't compare yourself to somebody else. Don't compare how long it takes somebody to do things or how quick it takes somebody to do things. Don't focus on yourself and you trying to understand things. So I'll definitely say do not give up try to find a way to get out of the rough time at least when i'm talking about like when it comes to school like struggling try to find a way to help you understand it whether if it's using your external resources and asking for help when needed the next point i will definitely say is encouragement and support from family you know if you don't have any encouragement and support from family i will not say that like well if i didn't have any support or encouragement from my family i wouldn't say that i wouldn't get a 4.0 plus gpa but it definitely helped like it added on to it not that i wouldn't have gotten a 4.0 plus college gpa while in high school if it wasn't for the support and encouragement of my family but i definitely think it probably would have made it a little bit difficult if I didn't see like, you know, that people were proud of me or I didn't see that people were telling me, you know, keep going even when it was tough or I was upset or whatever, or I was struggling. If I didn't have that, I definitely will say it probably would have been a little bit more difficult, but I won't say like you can't. I couldn't do it without it, but I'll definitely say it added to me being able to get a 4.0 plus college GPA while in high school. The very last point is my own encouragement for myself. If I don't encourage myself, if I don't keep pushing myself and telling myself, you know, you can do this, you're going to do this, you're going to succeed, you're going to do what you want to do in life, you're going to help people and all of that, I seriously would be nowhere. Because I will say at the end of the day, just because, you know, somebody encourages you and they lift you up, 
at the end of the day, if you don't have your own drive, your own passion, your own motivation, your own commitment, you don't have your own encouragement for you to do what you want to do, you will not do it. I'm not being negative at all, but that's just the truth. You will not do it. Regardless if it's even making good grades in school, trying to start a business, you know, starting your career, or I don't know, whatever it is you want to do. Whatever it is you want to do, if you don't have your own motivation, dedication, commitment, encouragement, you will not do it. Because at the end of the day, it does not matter how many people say that you can do it or how many people encourage you. If you yourself are not going, if you yourself, you're not going to work hard for it, you're not going to make to it, you're not going to dedicate to it, you're not going to have your own encouragement, motivation, you're not going to do it. So I would definitely say for me, what really helped was having my own encouragement because even when, especially when times were hard, so even when times were hard where I was struggling with schoolwork, I was like, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to look it up on YouTube or I'm going to look it up on the internet, on Google. I'm going to look up on Mathis phone and I'm going to learn this. I will get out of this. It may be tough now, it may be difficult, but I will learn how to do it at some point. So it's really just, I guess I could say, if it's not encouragement, it's definitely talking yourself up, like especially when you're down, when you're stressed, you're overwhelmed, or I would definitely say when times are tough, definitely when times are tough, then if you don't want to do it, if you don't have your own motivation, like I said, and encouragement to do it, you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. That is actually all of my points for this video for how I graduated way did high school with a 4.0 plus college GPA. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you do have some more questions that I may not have addressed in this video, I'll answer them in the comments down below. So make sure you leave your questions in the comments down below. So with that being said, until next time, bye guys.